beautiful soul family. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here today. But before I get started, I'm asking you to kindly subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell to all for future uploads so you won't miss any of them, and to give me a thumbs up, a like, because this tells the YouTube universe, algorithms, radio frequencies, cosmic forces to shine down upon my channel and I would greatly appreciate it. So what do I have for you today? Well, I got some new products last week and I've been itching to share those products with you. The first product that I have, I've been wanting to try a new mascara. You guys all know if you've been following me what my favorite mascaras are, but I wanted to try the Doll 10 Effort Lash Mascara. And so that's a product that we're going to try today. I'm gonna to take it out and I'm gonna show you everything first before we use the products. So this is what it looks like, a very sleek container, Effort Lash. I think that's pretty. I don't know what this is like because I have not opened it until now. This is the brush. The brush reminds me very much of the telescopic lift brush, except for there are no flat sides to the brush. Just tiny little minuscule spikes that look like they will grab the lashes really nicely. So I'm going to put this aside. And the next product, oh, I'm so excited about this because I'm adding to my LYS products. This is the Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer, and I got mine in MN3. Hopefully you can see that. FYI, my new phone. I love it. It's bigger, it's wider, as you can see. But I'm having problems with it focusing in the videos. Um, my old Google Pixel created way better videos as far as the picture quality. And you would think, since this is one of the newest phones, there's one more above this that the the video quality would be better but so far i i don't know what i'm doing wrong i mean i try to focus it just let me know in the comments if it seems different to you and the other thing is my background i watched a video and it was six months ago or five months ago whatever I really like my background plain. But when I put stuff like this up, then you get to see a little bit of my personality. So I think I'm going to take down and leave it for a while and put back up. I don't know. I'm not sure I like all the busyness because I haven't figured out how to fuzz that out. And I'm not sure I want to fuzz that out. So whatever. It's neither here nor there right now, but I wanted to give you my thoughts on that. So let's look at this Triple Fix Brightening Concealer by LYS. It's their classic triangle component. Let 
with a really nice sized doe foot. This doe foot reminds me of the Natasha Denona doe foot. And what, oh wow. Really, wow. Um, right off the bat, without even putting this under my eyes, this is so light weight, yet it covers. Okay, let me put a lot of it right here. And I'm going to blend that in for you. Wow. See the difference? I can. I think I'm really, really going to like this concealer. And there are so many products on the market. It's hard to decide what is my favorite, what is my everyday go-to. But we're going we're gonna to stick with that. The other thing that I purchased is not a product, it's a tool, but I bought the Sigma F76 chiseled cheek brush. And this is what it looks like. You know, Sigma has gorgeous brushes. I mean, this is so soft. I know a lot of people are partial to their brushes. And some of the, the brushes that I have, I am super duper partial to. And some of them were not expensive at all. Like, like my newest foundation try. Now I've had these for about six months as well. And I have never used this brush. I barely used this brush. I just used it in my last video for foundation. And... Same with this one. This one works really well applying um, eyeshadow. And, you know, I've got my Rare Beauty concealer brush that fits perfectly under my eye. And then, of course, my new Sigma brushes that I've recently purchased that I, I just love using. So I've got a lot of favorite brushes. And my final product that I purchased... Remember when this this went viral on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube even? The Clinique Almost Lipstick Mi Rouge Lèvres Black Honey. Well, they were having a special on a website that I follow. And this is the component... And I've been wanting this lipstick. So when it went on special, and I mean really went on special, I purchased it. This is, I mean, I don't really know what the draw was, why this went viral. But you know what? Ravi Beauties. Allie Glines' lipsticks. These kind of remind me of, of this lipstick, except for uh, Allie's lipstick right out of the tube was luxurious. So I could see maybe this one warming up when I put it on. Doesn't really have a smell. So... I think this is going to be one of my favorite lipsticks as well. And I am, my cold sore is almost gone. It's been behaving for the past two days. So I think we're, we're on the down low here. I'm going to do my eye makeup first. So let's pull this out of the way. And let's have a little conversation today. About... 
Let me get my notes. What it means to be in a void. What does it mean to be in a space where there's not a lot of movement? So for instance, say you're planning something you're you're planning a life change event and you keep trying and trying and trying but your life change event seems to be going nowhere it could be something else too it could be the fact that you want to switch careers or you're looking for something in particular in your life but you you're you're trying so hard but yet you feel like you're in this void of no movement what does that mean on a an energy level what does that mean spiritually Most of us get into a pattern where we're projecting so far ahead that we set ourselves up by having expectations that are beyond the moment. And when those expectations are not fulfilled, we become disappointed and we become depressed. So how can we combat that as human beings? You know, because think about it. What if you, what if you just found out that you needed to have surgery and, or you found out you had an illness? And you want to be healed. You want to be healed right now. But there are some things that you need to go through first. You don't want to project that far ahead because you don't know. You're in a void. And when you stop and think about it, every day is a void. Because when we go to bed at night, we don't know what's going to happen the next day. We can think we know. We can feel like we know based on our past experiences. But do we really know? So, tapping in to our own inner wisdom is one way to help us to understand where we are at right now. Tapping into our own inner wisdom and it's important to know that inner wisdom has preceded us on a soul level. It gets stored in the Akashic records from our soul's journey and, and has the answers. Books, if you will, of lessons that we have learned through our spiritual evolution process. And a lot of times it involves an element of respect and responsibility. I have begun to understand what that means. If I say something have a prayer 
but I do not respect the process of that prayer. I am not mature enough to receive the answers. Spiritual maturity comes with spiritual growth and experiential wisdom. And the respect that we give it is how we journey forward. I know this may seem very deep, but that's my understanding as of today. And so we carry an element of spiritual responsibility. Now that does not mean that we walk around like pious individuals with halos around our heads everywhere we go because we're human. But in the, re the reflection process of our day-to-day -day experiences is the evolution of growth. And the responsibility that we take on to accept where we are right now means that we respect the process. Remember the other day I talked about letting go and releasing and how they, they are similar but they are different? When you truly let go of something, when you truly let go, you're not going to think about it anymore. It's going to be gone. You're not going to think about it anymore. You are literally going to feel the release of this thing, person, situation that you have let go. And that surrender process helps us to become spiritually mature in this lifetime. It's as if we know deep down in here that we can't change circumstances that are beyond our control. And we can only change our perspective of those situations. And from there, allow the process of the journey to unfold in front of us. Okay, enough of that right now. While I am putting on makeup, let's talk about my giveaways. I have reached 22,000 subscribers. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm at 22,200. And I told you guys that when I reached 22,000 subscribers that I was going to have a giveaway. And I want to have a giveaway for two separate subjects. One for beauty, for makeup, and the other one for spiritual. And if you are interested in joining my giveaway, because I am doing two separate giveaways in one, I'm going to keep this giveaway 
exclusively within the United States. I apologize for that, but it will get expensive and we have the holidays coming up. So yeah, I will give you the details of the giveaway. So the first giveaway is going to be for beauty. And the second giveaway is going to be for one of my Light Fragments Oracle Card decks. Now, I have no more decks. This deck was used when I did fairs as a sample deck. So it has been opened. It's not encased in plastic. If you look at it, it is completely brand new but I took the plastic off to show it to people. It hasn't even been, it hasn't been used for readings. It is perfectly brand new. The only thing that is different about this deck is that it comes from the first run, which ended up being darker in print than the additions that I had afterwards or the runs that I had afterwards. So if you would like one of my decks, and this is the last one, I stumbled across this when I was going, moving things around in the other spare bedroom and I decided I'm going to gift this. I had a sticker in the bottom because I was selling this at fairs and I had a couple of these decks and this one did not sell so I took the sticker off and I decided that I wanted to give this away to someone that would like to have one of my decks. So in order to enter my giveaway, you simply need to comment either beauty to be entered into the beauty aspect of the giveaway or cards to be entered into the card deck giveaway. And that's all you need to do. Type beauty or cards and there will be two separate giveaways in this one giveaway for reaching 22,000 subscribers. This color right here this is a really nice brush too this is from the Natasha Denona mini and on the outside corner here, I'm going to use this shimmer right here. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring it more to the center. this right here and this is called whisper of course I have my nails done so that makes it a little little bit harder to get it will make a mess but I will just clean it up. This is going to be a very nude look. And if I feel like putting on an eyeliner, I will. And I think, 
you know, that's one of the wonderful things about makeup is if you can talk about allowing yourself to be in the void at the same time experience the beauty that's around you the journey is so much easier because you know a lot of times when we're in a void we're we're confused we're we're feeling like things aren't happening fast enough or how come my prayers aren't being answered and when will they be answered and are they going to be answered even right All right, let's do some of the Joe Blasco. All I'm going to do is dot. I'm going to dot and buff. So dot, well, that's more like a swipe. And by the way, since I got this foundation and it's been sitting up here in my beauty room where it's warm, um, it really is a lot easier to apply like it when I put my finger here and I go like that it really slides on so I'm going to use this brush to brush in the Joe Blasco foundation this brush is stiff I wouldn't say it's soft but when I run my fingers this way, it's very soft. And I think that's what it's meant for, is to drag down. I mean, even when I go like this, I have a vein that runs like this. And, and you can see that. Okay, I want to go down my neck. Look at how wide this gets. All right, now for the NYS Brightening Concealer. I'm going to put this on exactly the way I did in my last video. I'm going to go like this. And I have to be feeling this because I don't always put this much concealer on. But I thought it came out really great the last time and I figured let's learn about this concealer by using, actually putting it on, right? Not just little dots, but actually putting it on. I'm gonna go around my nose with it and then I'm gonna pat it in with my sponge. So let's tap this in with my sponge. Around my nose. Wow, it's it has a beautiful sheen to it. It's pretty. It does have a glow to it it does have a brightening and boy oh boy did it set let me look at my with my 20 time magnifying mirror wow look at this 
No creasing. No creasing whatsoever. Now, if I want to go back and I want to put a little bit right here, I know that's a lot, but there's no creasing. Gosh, I'm, I'm impressed. You know what I did? I let it sit. I went and washed my sponge and I let it sit. You guys. I want a little bit of under eye something something. So I'm going to take my Sigma pencil brush. And I'm just going to take this and go under my eye with it. All right. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to put on the Doll 10 mascara with you guys. All right, let's go. Let's try it. Ready? All right, my first. Oh. Mm, you guys. Um, I'm not, <laughs> all right, Okay, no mascara, mascara. I have to tell you my honest opinion because I'm not going to sit here and say I love it. I believe it can be buildable, but it feels dry going on. It doesn't feel, it feels dry going on. Like, I can't, I can't explain it. It doesn't have like this. And then, and then it kind of like. I love, I love how the wand grabs my eyelashes. That I really love, but the mascara itself needs work. Like I need to put like several coats on. And there's no point on the end. It's rounded, which, you know, that's okay. Because the little spikes will grab. 
But you have to really keep working at this. So my first impression is, eh. Compared to the other mascaras that I have that I love, if you have really thick eyelashes already and you just want this wispy look, this is a great mascara for you. But I like, I like bold eyelashes. If I'm going to put on mascara, if I'm going to go through the effort of curling my eyelashes, I want a bold mascara. But that's me. That's my personal opinion. Um, if you're somebody that likes just like a wispy look, this would be a great mascara for you. I like my powder, but I'm just going to put a little bit right there and a little bit right there. I'm having an LYS day. I'm going to take my feather brush and I'm just going to work that in. I think that's the best I've used it so far. You don't need a lot of that bronzer or contour. Okay, friends, now I'm going to put my blush on with my new Sigma Cheek and Bronze. Ooh. Wow. That is pretty. This brush is really nice. That's pretty. Mmm, smells so good too. Okay, my friends, let's get on the Clinique. It's really pretty. That is that's really pretty, but I still like Ally Glines lipstick better. I do. Hers need to go viral. But I really like this color, especially for the fall. I really like it. I think I'm going to take and put a little bit of eyeliner on the out, just the outside of my eye. Whoa. I think I got a little carried away. Oh, well. All right, we'll leave it like that. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks good. Okay, time to take my hair down. Do you see how a little bit of makeup just changes everything about the way you look and and it feels good 
Okay, my friends, be well, be blessed, be beautiful because you are, because there is nobody else on the planet like you. So women, know who you are, know your power. Know that you don't have to be out in the street screaming. Use your gentle power to stand tall and to stand firm for what you believe in and who you are, what you will put up with and what you will not put up with and mean it, mean it to the best of your ability. I love you all. Until we meet again, don't forget, join the giveaway, put beauty if you want the makeup giveaway, put cards if you would like to enter the card giveaway, and I will do both. And this will end in a couple of weeks before Thanksgiving, because I'll have to send it out after Thanksgiving. So... Take care, my friends. Until next time, know you're loved. Bye-bye.